All right, everyone here with another thing I might do with the chord, buddy. If you don't know, this is a G, a D, a C, and an E minor. Um, actually, I'm not going to do anything with the chord, buddy. Um, what I am going to do, though, is I have this old guitar that's been on my wall now for about two months. Got it at a yard sale. And it might have been Marketplace. I don't remember. Anyways, I just liked it. Um, I always fix up guitars, one, for practice, and two, to give to people. And uh, I give them to kids in the neighborhood, whatever. Anybody that comes over and wants to play and they like the guitar, I generally wind up letting them have it. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to determine what all this guitar needs. And um, first, if you was to, uh, you're not going to be able to see it too awful good, but anyway. <laughs> noise okay um, the way you determine where that problem is is you start right here and just pluck the string one time go down right behind each fret now I've already done the whole guitar and I know where the problem is but anyways I'm just gonna do a couple more so that you can see then I go to the next next one You want to go all the way down the whole neck when you do this. Then the third one. Skip it. Okay. Back. You hear that? That means this fret has a problem right there. Or it could be a bent string or a bad string. That necessarily means it's the fret. You've got to determine if it's the fret or if it's the string. So the first thing you do is lift the string and clean the string, which this string's got some gook on it right there. But I'm not for sure that, that there's the problem. I really think it's the fret. But anyways, I'm going to clean this fret up right here. Next thing I look for is I look down the neck. I look down from right here on the guitar, tilting it like this right here. I look straight down the neck. And I make sure that the side's straight and that there's no deep bows in it like this right here. There's none on this one right here, thank God. So it's a good starting point. Next, what I look at is the distance right here between the, the strings and the fret how easy it is to push. Then I go all the way down here to the 12th fret where the two dots are, and I look at the distance there, which this one is horrible, horrible. This guitar, it would not be a good player. Uh, you'd have blisters on your fingers, your fingers would ache, everything else. Oh, you'd see not with the chord, buddy. Um, it would be good because the first three frets are fine, but I want this guitar so that somebody can advance and play. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break this video in just a second, and then I'm going to set my stuff up and I'm going to start tearing this guitar down and I'll edit it a little bit as good as I can. It might stop and then restart again. But anyways, I'll show you step by step what to do. First, we're going to take the strings off, clean the frets and the fret board. Then after I do that right there, I am going to pull the bridge down, take out the tailpiece and I am going to sand the tailpiece and I always mark mine with a pen. Then I'm going to mark each one of these here. There's a fly that got in here because my window was open. But anyways, I'm going to mark each one of these here so that whenever I put it back, I don't have no string ring, um, which I'll explain that. And then we'll replay it again and see how it does and if there's any need, need to do any more adjusting. Now, a lot of uh, people will say, well, why don't you just adjust the neck? Well, first off, this right here don't have a truss rod in it. And um, it does got a screw down here. But that's not gonna, it's not gonna solve the problem that I need because there's, I mean, I don't know if you can see that right there, but oh my gosh, look at this. Look, there's so much space right there. I can almost stick my finger underneath them strings. That ain't no good for playing. So anyways, I'm gonna take care of that right there. And of course I'll wipe it all down and clean it up a little bit. And then I'll put some bronze light Ernie Ball strings on it. And then we will upgrade from there and we'll see how she does. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> 